When I came to believe with all my heart that God had kept his promise to preserve his words, and that those words were perfectly preserved in the King James Bible, I cried off and on for 24 hours. You want to know why? Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. I cried because I have a Bachelor of Arts in Bible and Linguistics. I have a Master's of Divinity in General uh, Theology with all my emphasis in Linguistics. I have years of linguistic study and Bible translation study. I cried because I could no longer wrestle with what Metzger or the committee said in the textual commentary for the Greek New Testament, or Reinecker's linguistic key to the Greek New Testament, or Jesuit Zerwick and Grosvenor's grammatical analysis of the Greek New Testament. Nor could I wrestle with the UBS 3rd or 4th edition, or the Nestle's 26th or 27th, now 28th edition. But you want to have your commentaries. You want to have your books. You want to have your linguistic one-upmanship. You want to trust the men who stood on the shoulders of giants, who stood on the shoulders of other giants, who stood on the shoulders of pioneers. You want to have that. You want to feel smart. You want to believe you are getting the most the newest advances of the most advanced knowledge. And then you find out that some guy who got raised up with a King James Bible was way ahead of you because he already knew what he believed. And I had no idea what I believed. I had to start all over again after 18 years. That's why I cried over a 24-hour period. But I did start over with faith, not doubt. And I did grow in faith instead of doubt. And that's why I'm able to hold my King James Bible up high and say, I may not understand every word of my King James Bible, but I believe every word of my King James Bible. You can't buy that kind of faith. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So you better make sure that what you have is the word of God. In English, it's the King James Bible. Then put your faith in it. Even if you have to start all over again from ground zero, you'll never regret it. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.